What's up guys, we're back. I wanna show you my lamb has avocado. So I'm recording this again because I had my finger right on where I was recording and I figured you guys didn't wanna see a video that has my finger in it, which is ridiculous. So yes, this is a professional YouTube channel. We have beer that we're drinking on this channel as we're talking about our avocados. So I do this for fun and I do it to really just document how fast these guys are growing or how slow they're growing or what it's taking to actually get these avocados to eventually produce fruit. So if you guys have a lamb house and you bought it in a five gallon container, um, what I wanna know is how long it actually took for you to get some fruit. So I bought this in March, the first week of March. I planted um, this the first week of April and it's the end of July right now and this is what it looks like. So I'll do a side by side of what it looks like in April to what it looks like right now, which is end of July. Um, And of course, you gotta stay hydrated. This is how I'm staying hydrated. Firestone 805. Just enjoying the day, making sure everything's hydrated. You gotta stay hydrated. You gotta also make sure your avocados are hydrated. So I bought this in a five gallon container and I bought it at a local nursery, not at the Home Depot or Lowe's, even though I'm starting to see it now at the Home Depot and at the Lowe's because it's one of those varieties that have started to gain in popularity um, and especially in California because it's one of those uh, fruits that fruits a little later in the season compared to the Hass. So um, orchards and avocado growers are starting to kind of plant the lamb Hass also. So the lamb has is a cross between a Gwen and a Hass. So this lamb is a A type. I have it right next to my Nabal, which I've already shown you, which is a B type. So the lamb has is supposed to be more of an upright, kind of a compact growth habit. Mine is starting to go kind of upright or straight up it looks like on this branch here at the very top but I've also noticed that some of the branches down below are drooping a little bit and I don't know if I should try to train it to kind of go up but I'm probably just gonna leave it alone and see how it goes. Um, the fact that it's growing a little bit outwards and being more bushy is probably a good thing because it's helping to uh, shade the, the trunk and helping to shade a lot of the, the new branches. So that's probably a good thing. I'm gonna kinda just leave it as is. Compared to my warts, um, my warts is kinda growing sideways and not going up. So I'm actually trying to train that one to go up. Uh, so. Something else that I'm looking at right now is that this thing is starting to outgrow my, the stake that it came with. And I'm thinking I'm probably at a point where I need a, add a, like a taller stake just to kind of help keep it going straight up. My plan is to top it also so it doesn't grow too tall. That way I can keep this tree a little bit on the smaller side so I can be able to reach a lot of the fruit that we get. And I'm already talking about a lot of the fruit that we get, even though I haven't gotten any fruit yet. But it's all wishful thinking. It's all part of the long-term plan here to be able to get a lot of avocados, we hope. So follow along if you haven't. And if you're curious about how this avocado is gonna do, um, I'll probably do like a six month video you guys so you can see what this thing will look like six months from now 
it's around three o'clock and I have my micro sprays going to help cool down and also water this avocado. I measured it just using like a measuring cup and just timing it with the stopwatch. Just to, I was just kind of curious how much water these little micro sprays were putting out. So it wasn't that much water. And what that means is it's applying a little less water, but you got to run your irrigation a little longer to allow that water to kind of soak in. And I think having these micro sprays have really helped because one, it doesn't apply a ton of water all in one shot, which for me and my soil, which is pretty free draining for the most part, would mean that all of that water is probably gone and not available for the roots to drink. So applying slower water, longer period of time is something that I think has been helping my avocados do a little bit better. So if you have a lamb house, I'm curious to see how well they're doing. Comment down below. I'm curious if you're having issues with the heat and if, if they are struggling or if they're doing good. So I whitewashed the trunks and the branches and I haven't whitewashed from here on and that's because this is all new growth and even on this branch here, same thing, all new growth. Up here, same thing. So, I actually had a shade cloth over this um, when the temperatures were over 100. There was this one day um, that it, the temperatures got up to uh, like 105, 107, where I'm at. Um, so I did have a shade cloth over it. So even though the temperatures were going up i was consistently watering this thing well and it started to like really take off so it actually outgrew where my shade cloth was at and was kind of uh, getting hit by the shade cloth and actually kind of burning it a little bit so i decided to go ahead and just take off the, the shade cloth and and um, I think it's helped because now there's a little bit more light energy coming in and it seems to be happier even though it does get a lot more sun and I was expecting it to kind of wilt more. But I think it's a balancing act, right? You got water versus sun versus heat. So as long as you're watering, it seems to be okay to not have a shade cloth. And this is just based on my experience now your experience may vary so I'm kind of curious what you guys are seeing out there if you guys actually have a lamb has um, and if it's uh, doing well also with or without shade cloth and things like that so comment down below um, the fruit that comes off of the lamb has is supposed to be bigger than the has and also uh, fruits a little later in the season so I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's starting to become a little bit more popular because you can actually have a hass and a lamb hass and have your fruiting season extend a little bit. So one thing to note also, the fruit has kind of like square shoulders. I don't have any yet, but based on how things are going right now, it looks like we will be getting some fruit in the coming years here. Um, so if we're lucky we'll get clusters because what I've seen from other people who have lamb passes they have fruit in like clusters of like three or four um, or two I guess even numbers it seems like um, also from what I've read the skin peels really nicely so that's a really good attribute to this avocado so you guys know it's been hot it's been over 90 degrees for like the last four weeks it feels like and make sure you're checking your irrigation make sure you're checking your watering schedule 
and just double check to make sure that if you see your branch is kind of wilting over that it's time to add a little extra water but I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope you guys have a good weekend and we'll be talking later see ya